Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to talk about how can you hide sensitive information being passed to LLM? How can you redact some of the key information? And this feature is very useful specifically when you are creating a um, chatbot kind of thing for customer care application wherein you are in finance sector or whether you are in insurance sector or whatever it is. But idea here is to hide that sensitive information being passed here and there and as well as while saving. So that's what we are going to work on it. So in order to get started, first of all, we need the API key, which is from assembly AI. And if you don't know where to find out that, I will put the video description and link of my video description in an email. And in that video, you can see how to grab open AI key as well as assembly AI key. So let's get started. So first of all, I need to import some of the key libraries. So I would say import assembly AI and once it is, so do not worry about these few lines of code which I have already written. I will take walk you through that as well. And the, then first thing we need to do is we need to transcribe our audio files. So for transcribing, I can just create a variable transcript, which will use, uh, I think I can grab this because we need it very frequently assembly ai dot transcriber and inside that we have a trans transcribe method which is going to take few parameters and the very first parameter is our input file so if you have your url you can pass it but in my case i have already downloaded that file which is voice dot wave and it is sitting in my local directory itself then we need to define the configuration. So for configuration, uh, we have certain things. I will say assembly AI dot transcription config. And inside this transcription config, we need to pass in few things. So the first thing is we want to redact the information. So all the personal information, we want to redact it. So for that, I mean, not all, whatever you want to redact, but before that you have to set this flag to true. So that system will get to know that, okay, we are going to work on reduction, redaction. So redact PPI equal to PII uh, equal to true. And then uh, we are going to do this experiment on an audio file. So for that, we need to set uh, audio is true. So redact underscore PII underscore audio equal to true. So these are the two things. And then we need to define some policies, like what kind of data you want to redact. So for that, they have a property called redact PII policies. So that's what I'm going to write here. which is a list so you can pass in a lot many things i can quickly point you to the documentation so this is the documentation of assembly ai and these are the things which you can detect so here you can see all so it will allow all the default ones based on the policies and you can also redact any number sequence you can redact email address data or phone number social security money amount whatever you want so these are the few things which are supported as of now so you can point those and it will be redacted so if you don't want to hear person name or if you don't want to grab the person name in your output you can just uh, use this name person name and it will just remove that particular person name from the output so that's what we are going to use here Let's move on to the code again. And here I would say assembly AI dot PII reduction policy. And inside this, let's go ahead and do for phone number because I know there is a phone number in that video. So we can utilize that. And once it is done, uh, next thing we need to do is we need to save this audio, whatever the redacted version is. So for that, we can use the transcript dot save redacted audio. And here we can give a name to it. I would say redacted audio dot web and it will go ahead and save it in our local directory. 
So let me run this. So here I have set my keys. This is assembly AI. Then I'm running it. Looks like there is no attribute. Okay, the O should be in small. Okay, it's going to take time, few seconds. Meanwhile, I will quickly show you what are uh, what is our audio file. So this is what is. Hello, thank you for calling Contoso. Who am I speaking with today? Hi, my name is Mary Rondo. I'm trying to enroll myself with Contoso. Hi, Mary. Uh, are you calling because you need health insurance? Yes. Yeah, I'm calling to sign up for insurance. Great. Uh, if you can answer a few questions, uh, we can get you signed up in a jiffy. Okay. Um, so, uh, what's your full name? Uh, so, Mary Beth Rondo. Last name is R, like Romeo, O, like Ocean, and like Nancy D, D, like Dog, and O, like Ocean again. Rondo. Got it. Uh, and what's the best callback number in case we get disconnected? Um, I only have a cell phone, so I can give you that. Yep, that'll be fine. Sure. So, it's 234-554. And then nine three one two. Got it. So to confirm, it's two three four five five four nine three one two. Yep, that's right. Excellent. Uh, let's get some additional information from your for your application. Uh, do you have a job? Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. So let's uh, trim it here, and uh, we'll have a look at what the new file with what is the new file which is generated. So it is on the name of redacted audio. Let's listen to this one. Hello, thank you for calling Contoso. I will just fast forward it. You can answer a few questions. Uh, we can. Last name is R, like Romeo. Got it. Uh, and what's the best callback number in case we get disconnected? Um, I only have a cell phone, so I can give you that. Yep, that'll be fine. Sure. So it's. And then. Got it. So to confirm, it's. Yep, that's right. Excellent. Uh, let's get some additional information from your for your application. So you have seen that how easy it was to just replace that sensitive information using beep sound. And right now it is doing just for phone number because that's what we have added to a reduction policy. So if you have more things, you can just add it over here by comma separated. And if you want everything, then you can just pass in, instead of passing this particular thing, you can just pass in all. So this is uh, uh, what we have. Now the next thing is we want to pass this redacted audio to our uh, to our LLM, which is OpenAI in this case. Now I have already written few lines of code and if you have not seen this, that is uh, definitely covered in my previous video, but I can also point you to my Medium article where, from where I have grabbed these few lines. So this is my article and these are the few lines which I have grabbed it and we have already discussed these lines or these lines of code why we are doing this. So I'm not going to take uh, much time here and will rather quickly show you. So here I need to define the file path. So I'm dealing with local file but you can definitely publish this over the web. You can even read it from, from the web rather than passing it as a voice.wave directly. And now I'm going to run this line, which is going to generate the transcript for me, which is going to generate the transcript for me. Okay, it's done. And I can quickly show you what is this. So this is from Quanto. So, so this is the audio file, which I have picked it from GitHub tutorial of Azure's, I think, language translation or something. Okay, so let's have a look at it. So this was the conversation. He was asking about what's your full name. So I'm very best Rondo. All these things they were talking about. And here it is asking, what is your best callback number? So this is a text we are going to pass to LLN. So definitely we are not expecting any phone number here. And you can see here, She's saying I have only one cell phone, so I can give that and yeah, that will be fine. Sure. So it's, and then, so you can see that some text is missing here as well as here and directly that 
customer relationship manager is saying got it so it means whatever the sensitive information was in this part uh, in that audio is completely removed and this is a text we are going to pass to our llm so this was the overall idea how can we remove sensitive information and just get the questions answered now i am saying what this audio file is all about and it is saying it is a conversation between a customer named mary rondo and a representative from contoso and nowhere you will see that phone number because this was the text uh, which was not passed to llm i mean the text which we are passing to llm is not holding any phone number so that's the reason you will not see any mention about phone number here so that's all i have and i hope you will be able to utilize this feature when you are creating a specifically a customer centric chatbot so do let me know in comments how do you feel about this feature and what all things you are going to do with this thanks for watching